Uh, hello there. In this video, I'm just going to give you a quick intro in how to use Trisbort, which is the mapping tool that we are going to use for this text adventure project. Trisbort is a great tool. It is free, although it is no longer currently under development. Um, but uh, it is still nonetheless a great tool. Uh, when you open it up, you are given a blank map like this. And this is where you can design out your, your world. So um, just to start in, to create a new room, just hit Control R. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Control R. Control R. There we go. Um, and by default, it, it gives it the name Cave. But if you double click on it, you can go in there and uh, change it to whatever you want. Maybe this is the Cave Entrance. Entrance. And uh, you can specify whether the thing is light or dark. Um, this doesn't really matter um, for us. Um, we can put descriptions or objects. The description is the important one because um, if you put the text in here, you can paste it into the text adventure tool that we're going to use later. Um, so I'm just going to put this as a um, dark foreboding tunnel or something. Foreboding tunnel. There you go. Um, leading west, okay, into a hill, okay, good. Click OK, and now I've got a I've got a room here. I can click on it and drag it around. If I want to add another room, Control R brings up another room, and then I can drag this room wherever I want. I just I'm holding the mouse down over it, and now see I've got these little dots right here. I can just click and hook them up like that. So uh, I can say winding passage or something. All right. Um, now, what else could I do? You know, so th this makes it very easy to, um, you know, hook up your rooms and, and design out your game very, very, very nicely. Um, other cool stuff about it. Let's let's say that there's a let's put a lantern right here uh, under objects. If I just type in that there's a lantern, what it's going to do is. Put, a, just put just put the word lantern right under the room. So when I go to design this thing out, I can remember, oh wait, there's a lantern object and I'm supposed to put it in that in that particular room. Uh, other neat stuff that it can do, um, we can save the map as um, a PDF, not so not super useful for us, but definitely the image, that is very useful um, because as part of this project, we're going to be making a walkthrough, right? The, like, you know, all the documentation that someone would want if they're trying to review the game, you know, maybe for a magazine, for a blog, for a competition, something like that. So we're going to make all the marketing material that goes with the game. And what are Inform 7, Inform 6, and TADS? Those are other text adventure development systems, right? So what's really cool is you can make your map in this thing and then actually export it. Um, for some other tools. We are not going to do that uh, in Form 7. is uh, in Form 6 has obviously been replaced by in Form 7. In Form 7 is really kind of beyond the scope of uh, what we're going to do in this class, right? It's, it's a very powerful tool, but it's also kind of frustrating. So that's my just two cents about in Form 7, um, but it is really pretty slick. Um, but anyway, there you go. So that's how you can create your passages, uh, you know, map stuff out, brainstorm your, your game. It's like, oh, no, we shouldn't put the lantern there. We should put it somewhere else, right? It's okay, so fine. So just move, you know, delete lantern out of that room, put it somewhere else, right? This is a really good way of mapping out your, your game. Uh, and then you can export it, and, uh, and you're in good shape. So, um, uh, so there you go. That's how you use Trisbort. Make sure you, you know, save your map when you're done, obviously. All right, well, there you go. In the next video, we're going to take a map that I've made, and we're going to actually turn it into um, a real working project. All right, thanks. If you have any questions about this, uh, please ask.